Hi, this is Wim at Modelmaker Systems and today we look at creating a road network design part 2. We start off in Roadmaker by importing the strings. Select the file import, MMS strings, road option. Choose the .kcs file of the alignment string file you created in Modelmaker. Next, you need to choose the survey.bot file that covers the area of the alignment strings. Once the files are loaded, the plan layout looks the same as in Model Maker. You can also load the cadastral background, only the lines, no text. Once loaded, I turn the cadastral display off. Load the service strings with the import mm strings, services. We did one road in video 1 as an example using the service strings to restrict the design based on that. Let's load that file. We will use this to pick up the road reserve width from the cadastral plan and the culvert sections. Before you do your design, do a bit of planning. Decide which roads have the camber priority. Those will be the main roads. The secondary roads will pick up the camber from the main road and add an additional PI at the edge of the main road position. This is what my activation sequence will be for this cadastral layout. Start designing with the main road first, right click on the screen and select activate road. Or at the bottom of the screen select activate road. Indicate the first main road according to your planning. On the typical road profile you can either put in new parameters or load an existing .prd cross-section design file. For more information on the design, view the video on cross-section top profile design and cross-section layer design. Once I completed the design, I saved the file as a .prd file, main road 6 meters, that I can use it as a cross-section template for the new road. Select the L section icon on the active road and design the vertical alignment. Watch our video on road vertical alignment design for more information. The BC and EC markers guide you to help eliminate overlap when placing your new VPI point. Note the incoming road levels are not on the new alignment. Once you go back to plan and activate the road again, they will update the vertical alignment level. Go back to the plan view and activate the next road. Load that .prd file and change it for a secondary or narrower road and save it again with a new name secondary road 5 meters.prd. Notice the VPI on the connecting road scamber is added automatically. 
I go to Design Defaults and make sure the Automatic VPIs at Road Intersection is on to make this work. While we are here, I turn on the Extract Ground sections 5 meter wider than the road reserve width. Apply the settings to all the roads. The colored circles on the intersection points of the alignments represent the following. Red means the connection between the roads are picked up. Yellow indicates the start of the road. Green indicates the end of the road. I fast forward the rest of the design. You will see that I repeat the steps we already did up to now. Activate Road Z that we did our service and culvert strings on. Notice the indicating markers with the string name. On the cross section, we will use the left and right strings to take the toe points to the road reserve. Fix the toe point to the road reserve. This is the result. The tow line goes to the string width at the road reserve offset. To view the additional skew sections, scroll to the sections with the word skew in brackets next to the peg distance value. Select culvert at the bottom menu bar. Indicate the culvert position on the cross section. Complete the necessary fields to design the culvert. Note the string name goes to the description input of the culvert. Repeat the steps for the second culvert. Make sure the culvert position is turned on in the long section plot parameters. When I normal plot, notice the curves are not smooth. To smooth the plan view around the corners, go to plot parameters, 
plan plotting and turn the interpolate between sections on. This will use extra sections around the bends. Remember to save the settings you want Roadmaker to use as default. In plan view, save the file regularly as a .mmr road network file. The program will remember the .pot file that you started with and link it to the design.mmr file. When you load the file from a clean start of the program, it will only ask you to select the .mmr file and the .bot will be loaded automatically. Complete all the roads using the previous learned steps. Once both roads at the connection are designed, we can add the bell mouth. On the plan view, select B mouth and select close to an intersection. Complete the inputs and select the replot when done. If you right click on the plan view, the replot will refresh the screen. You can do more than one bell mouth before you right click to refresh the screen. There are buttons to send your design to Modelmaker, both the points and the strings. Use the design to MM. In Modelmaker select the project you want to use and choose if you want the triangles to be edited according to the strings. Use the GXT to MM. In Model Maker, select Auto Edit Triangles on the new Roadmaker strings. If you zoom into the model and turn the survey codes on, you will see all the points including the culvert invert levels. The horizontal curves and general peg distance points are generated according to the general design parameters settings in Roadmaker. I will change the horizontal curve peg distance to 2 meters to get a smoother arc. When you send the points to Modelmaker using the previous method, you will see more points around the curves. Thank you for watching, that's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and watch our other available videos.